you to make spaghetti squash primavera. In order to do that, you have to start with a spaghetti squash. So this is what it looks like from the back, and this is what it looks like when you've cut it in half. You have to take the seeds out. So I will take the seeds out here. And you can even see as you take the seeds out how the inside of the spaghetti squash sort of looks like strands, but they're not really edible at this moment. So the seeds are out. Then I'm going to wrap it in plastic wrap. And put it in the microwave for about 10 minutes and then it will be soft and we'll be able to shred it into the vegetables that I'm going to cook. Okay, I'm adding olive oil to the pan. Turning on the flame. And adding some minced garlic to the olive oil. Usually my rule of thumb is when I start to smell the garlic is when it's ready to add the other vegetables. And it's also softened up a bit. Yum, really smells good. Okay, so for those of you who don't, don't know, a primavera actually means spring. So this is a bunch of spring vegetables that will be sauteed together and steamed and sauteed and added with the spaghetti squash. So you actually will have what looks like a pasta dish, but is a, a vegetable dish without any carbohydrates filled with all these vegetables. Um, there is asparagus and broccoli and red pepper, or actually orange pepper, and uh, but these are baby bella mushrooms. And I'm adding all of those into the garlic and oil. I've cut the asparagus into about two inch pieces uh, on the bias, meaning uh, diagonally. The broccoli also is cut into small pieces into the florets. I've gotten, you can use the stems for soup. Um, and all the mushrooms have been uh, quartered because they're sort of more meaty tasting instead of being sliced. And baby bellas, you can use any kind of mushroom. You can use white mushrooms, but baby bellas pack more flavor um, and actually give it a little color. So I, put, I like using those in something like this. Uh, so we're gonna toss it all around, making sure that the oil hits everything. Another hit of salt and some black pepper. Stir again. You can already see how bright and green everything, how bright green and fresh everything looks. In order to make sure that the broccoli is cooked through, I like to steam it a little bit. So I'm going to turn the heat down a little lower, steam it for a couple of minutes before I add the rest of the vegetables, which is a zucchini, uh, both yellow and green zucchini. And I've cut them all into about the same size pieces, and that way the uniformity allows all the vegetables to cook at the same time and you don't end up with some raw and some mushy and whatever. So choose your size and just do it all the same size. I prefer doing it the small way. There's about a quarter to a half an inch a piece. So after this is steamed, we add the rest of these vegetables. Here we go. And we add some chopped basil. And stir again. Keep stirring until the vegetables are basically crisp tender which means you can still bite them. You don't want it to be like baby food. And the spaghetti squash is soft when it's added to this. So I'm gonna leave this cooking a little bit and go get my spaghetti squash out of the microwave and then shred it into the vegetables. So our spaghetti squash uh, is finished in the microwave. And as you can see, when you take a fork and go up and down it, it looks like strands of spaghetti. And Pull the strands down. Okay, there we go. Oops. I'm going to take the spaghetti squash and mix it in with the vegetables. 
You can add cheese to this if you're having a dairy meal, uh, or you can also make a tomato sauce to go with it, but I actually like the purity of just the vegetables and the squash. Uh, the cheese is really good, but this is a wonderful uh, buffet dish. It's a wonderful vegetarian dish for your vegetarians. It has all these beautiful vegetables, and uh, it's just a very pretty, nice thing to serve for a lot of people, a lot of company. Kids love it. And now you have a choice on how to plate it. You can put it uh, on a big platter, or you can use the uh, shell of the spaghetti squash as a serving container, which I think is a lot more fun. So I'm going to fill this up. And then people can just serve themselves from this. It's always fun using the veg vegetables as containers.